importance of collaboration has been a real focus this year. Um, being able to work with um, different artists, using different mediums to still be able to work together. I feel like it's definitely acting 101, 102, and 103 in about three weeks. You go through everything that you can possibly do, starting with the very basics, going to all these other different things. It's really good training at the very beginning. It's like you've been doing your high school drama program and you know, you're a good actor there and you have the talent and then this kind of takes it and works from the ground up so you also have the technique and not just the talent. I mostly want the students that leave here to be good consumers of architecture. I want them to look at the world around them and say this world can be beautiful, it can be built more beautifully than it is, and it can be built in ways that are smarter than we do currently so that we can preserve our natural environment and make our built environment more beautiful than it is now. I'm kind of learning an understanding of architecture and what it all entitles. It involves a lot of model building and kind of sketching and ideas and uh, relating to things around you. When we did a major project with a stool uh, to kind of amplify a certain feeling we had in an environment and that kind of gave me a different perspective on how our environment around you shapes the building. I've learned a lot about um, just like design in general how to like totally take leaps and with the assistance of my teachers and even peers and stuff. So. Well I've never drafted before and I learned how to draft properly and I've never really worked with anybody who's like a professional at what they're doing and so being able to have, have their feedback come to me and, and learning how to take it and, and use it and develop it was I think pretty essential for going into a career. I've really seen a growth in how they perform or how they take class. You know, I think they, they think that technique is okay. It's not as great as performing on stage. And I really think they've come to this awareness that even when they're working on their technique, they need to be performing. They need to fill the space. They need to not just go through the motions. They really need to find where the movement comes from and dance with passion and, uh, and meaning and intent. A lot of people that come out of GSA, and I began to see this in myself, is that they've become more confident or committed to their art. Like they're not hesitant when you perform or do a combination. And I really realized like each class I take is for me and not for like trying to impress anybody. And I've gained more confidence with that. I'd say like I've gotten better in pushing myself because the days are long and you have to stay focused because we have rehearsals. So I think I've become better like with endurance and pushing myself and also um, having ballet every day is nice because it makes you work on your technique a lot more so I think I've gotten better than that too. Uh, I think the m major uh, thing I want for the instrumental students to get out of this entire program is the art of learning how to collaborate with others and yet take ownership of your own sound and lend itself to that collaboration and yet still um, have a soloistic attitude toward the sound that you're making. Uh, at first it was mostly like individually I was becoming more aware of how I was playing myself but I'm doing some really intricate pieces with other uh, musicians in the group also, and I've kind of developed a better ear, I guess, for listening and being able to uh, uh, come together with them. And they've, the directors and instructors, they've definitely been pushing me really hard to kind of be a more aware of that. I think for what we do here, it's, it's such a community in itself that when we come together, everything is so focused, and here at GSA, it's definitely a lot more, um, it's a lot more focused and inten intensified, definitely. But it's just like, you kind of get a whole different vibe than just going like a regular camp for a week. I guess it's the fact that we're here for so long together and we're giving so many opportunities to play different things that I've never really experienced something like that before and it's, uh, it's really, really intense and a lot of fun. 
Um, my experience at GSA has definitely been uh, beyond my expectations. Um, not only in perfecting my skills in music, um, but I've also gotten to see a lot of really talented people who have uh, found a lot of success in their careers in music and I've seen how their perseverance and work ethic have uh, gotten them to the level that they're at now. So that's been really great to see a lot of big name people who started out just like me. I hope that our students um, in creative writing take uh, with them the seriousness of what it means to be a writer. Um, and that it, and to be an artist in, in general, but that um, learning to observe their own lives and the people in their lives uh, is important to creating art. And they've seen such amazing poets from Kentucky and, and fiction writers who come to speak to them about the work of being a writer. So they know it's possible for them. I was in the sixth grade when I tried to hide behind the Hollister sign. I was California parties and surfer dudes, clothes that sweat cologne. I shopped with <laughs> bought $20 shirts, $50 jackets, $60 pre-rich, pre-stained jeans. When can the world get past this advertising mess? When can we realize we are not what we wear, what we eat, what we scrub our armpits with every morning? We are just we. Yeah. Um, well, one thing is uh, that we've been writing so much all day that uh, I feel like before I came to GSA, it was hard for me to just get down and actually start writing, but now I, since we're like told we just need to get out and actually write something, I feel like I can you know, be a lot more productive and just write whenever I want to. And uh, I've been getting a lot of attention on um, writing more specifically. I think my imagery has gotten a lot better. Well, it, b being here all together is awesome, just because you know there's so much enthusiasm and everybody's on the same page and everybody's artistic. And then specifically, the visual arts program is, you know, it's great because that's you know, that's that's what I'm good at. You know, seeing everybody at such a high level, you know, everybody's so you know aesthetically and conceptually, you know talented it's 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 awesome i love it and i just think we all feed off each other and i you know it's, it's the best environment i've ever been in you know it's such a it's such an intense program i mean these guys are just like a lot of assignments all the time um a lot of students too have never tried these things before so we do want to make sure that they have at least an experience and at least the knowledge to take back with them to their high schools to whatever they may do um, projects that they can do themselves, you know, that they're least aware of. And that, I think, is opening them up too to like seeing something different, making something different, um, talking about something that they've never seen or made before, you know, so that becomes like a really crucial part of uh, our, our curriculum. When the students come here for music theater, we're hoping to give them at the end of the program a package that they can use as audition material for uh, potentially getting accepted into college programs or into some kind of uh, training program post high school experience. Of course, at the same time, we're also trying to give them some instruction on the history of musical theater. We're trying to give them some voice lessons, um, some history of pedagogy. Uh, we give them one-on-one -on -one monologue work and of course, all the experience that we can in tap and jazz and dance. I'm one of the people who would have never had the chance to do this and probably won't again, coming from a very small town in Eastern Kentucky. And the biggest thing I've gotten is the outlook on this art form. Like working with people as professional as Ryan and Sharon and Donna, I've just really been inspired and had the confidence to continue on in musical theater or dance or vocal or whatever it is in my life. You, d you don't just, you know, direct. You do everything. You write, so you may not, you know, be a writer at home. You get to storyboard, you get to work hands-on with lighting um, and editing, and it's, it's, I think it's great for anybody who's, who's, you know, just into photography, they get to experiment with filmmaking, or, you know, anybody who's just into filmmaking gets to experiment with photography more. Uh, it kind of opens your eyes to the different sides of filmmaking, not just, you know, pointing the camera and shooting your friends, but 
you get to explore all the different sides of filmmaking, all the different jobs, you know, behind it, and you, you can make a you know, better choice as to, you know, your career possibly. Well, um, this year they got MacBooks, so we have a Mac Lab, and um, we use the software programs Final Cut Pro and Soundtrack Pro, um, and those are, you know, these really high-tech programs that if you don't have guidance, it's really difficult to learn how to use. And um, you get to use that, and you also get to use, you know, high-tech camera equipment and learn lighting techniques and all the terminology that goes with that. GSA has taught me that I can be an artist um, in the real world, quote unquote, and um, also just the confidence that um, there are other people out there like me, you know, that want to do art and that it's okay, you know, you can pursue it as a career. Well, I mean, we offer them a number of vocal experiences, the opportunity to hear great artists, the opportunity to work with some great artists. Um, they have lessons here. Many of them have lessons at home as well, but some have never had a voice lesson, so we give them that. Um, a terrific choral experience. Um, the opportunity to learn kinds of music that they might not be able to learn at home. Well, for one, we have an amazing faculty. It's just, it's astounding how much talent they have. So that has most definitely really, really helped my development and everything because they've been there and they've experienced what this program is supposed to help prepare me for. So, and I mean, just so much technique that I would have never learned otherwise had I not been to this program. And we have diction class and like creative movement class and just like stage presence things and just so many like techniques and skills that without this program I would have never in a million years thought I would have needed nor would I have learned. Well, it's given me a once in a lifetime experience and it's given me great instruction by professionals who know exactly what they're doing. The main difference between this program and programs back home is really the, uh, the faculty and staff. Um, the DAs and all of my teachers are fantastic. They've all helped me so much over the past couple of weeks to progress as a singer. Um, I, I can't get that back at home. It's great to sing with a bunch of talented people and you stack talented people with talented instructors and you really get a great program out of it. I was young, younger than before Never saw the truth hanging from the door Now I'm older, seen face to face Now I'm older Get up.